Hi, it's Julie. So I have no idea why I was called to talk about victimhood today and I don't even really know what I'm going to say, but I so dig the black and white. I don't know why. Going back to my film school roots or something, but um, I like it, so I'm sticking with it for now. Um, plus the lighting looks better or something when it's in black and white. So, I guess I want to talk about being a victim and what that means and how to get out of it. So, being a victim, you can be a victim to anything. You can be a victim to your circumstances. You can be a victim to other people's behaviors. Hi, Jan. I miss you. Um, you can be, yeah, I mean, those are the big things, but you can be a victim in any of those, in any situation involving somebody or something. So, you know, you're even a victim if you're in a traffic jam and you're pissed off at the guy who just cut you off, right? Um, there's so many choices that we get to make in those moments of, okay, am I going to allow this to get me down and ruin my mood? Like, say you're, like, driving along, like, freaking happy as hell, like, jamming out, singing to your favorite song or whatever, and some guy pulls in and just, like, cuts you off, right? Like... When you are in a victim mode and you get pissed as hell at that guy and you flip him off and, or girl, and you are raging inside, you just became a victim to that person's action. And you literally let them suck the happiness and joy out of you, right? That's what you just did. You just let them take that from you. So I use that simple example because I know that we've all been there and we've all felt that feeling. And I think it can be reasonable, right, to get pissed. To be like, what? Like, because it's unsafe. Say so you have your kids in the car. I know I get freaked out about that sometimes. I'm like, what the hell? Like, you, you don't know that I don't have kids in my car and you just did that, like, dangerous thing but like you have the ability inside you in your head in your heart to be able to just like flip the switch and be like okay that pissed me off all right let's go back to jamming out and like just being ourselves and having fun instead of like letting that emotion take over you and obviously this is like a a small incident in what victimhood can be, right? Um, there's been a lot of addiction behaviors in my life and a lot of other people's lives that I know that they succumb to the victimhood of that and their lives revolve around the actions of another person. That's also victimhood. You're sitting there just letting somebody else's life dictate your own, right? And that doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It feels like you're out of control because you are. It feels like you're powerless because you are. But inside of all of us, we are ourselves, right? There's only one of us. I love saying this. It's like there's like a one in four trillion chance that you were ever even born. So like you're a freaking miracle just being here. We're all little miracles. But... And so, because of that, we have that power to own who we are and not to let somebody else's life dictate our own life. So, I'm urging you today just to pay attention. No judgments, no beating yourself up because that is not worth it. Right? And we've all been in the victim mode. So there's no judgment. I've been in the victim mode a bajillion times. But it's what you do after that and that you take a step towards looking at when you are a victim and you're like, oh shit, 
okay, I'm being a victim right now. What can I do to flip that? Because I know that inside me, I have the power to not let that guy who just cut me off ruin my day or ruin my freaking song that's on the radio and isn't going to come back on for another three hours. So it's this process of just being aware of when you're in that position. Are you focusing on something else? Are you focusing on what somebody else is thinking about you and letting it bring you down? Like you can feel those emotions in yourself when you're paying attention. Like you can feel, you know, so in the past, you know, my husband would drink and I would know it. And then I would be in this victim mode of like, oh my God, like my life is over. You know, what am I going to do? It's going to be terrible. But as I learned, I was like, that's not my reality. I don't have to let his behaviors dictate my own emotions because I own my own emotions and I can change that. Yes, I can be sad. Yes, I can be angry. But it's where you take it from there. Do you let it own you or do you let it go? All emotions are valid. We're allowed to be pissed off. We're allowed to be angry about shit that happens to us in our lives. But then what do you do about it afterwards? Do you let it take you over and ruin your day? Or do you step into what you know is your emotional power to change a situation, right? And you can use so many different techniques to do that. You can write about it. Sometimes getting it out of your head is good. Um, talking to somebody about it, you know. I mean, even if you're in the car and you do get cut off, I'm using this like super simple um, example, but even if you do that, you know, you could be with your kids like, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> like, we don't like that. That was kind of scary, wasn't it? And then you move on. Let's turn that music up again and rock out because why the hell not? Like, it is your life, and when we're in that victim mode, we are letting other people define how we feel. And we don't have to, because that's our choice. And that's the beautiful thing about it. And yeah, that's, I guess, what I had to say about it. It was not planned, but that's what it was. So take action today on owning your own emotions and stepping out of the victim mode whatever that means for you if it's just that you have road rage and you get cut off in traffic and are pissed off all day about it or if somebody in your life and their actions are dictating what what you think and what you feel because don't give that away that's giving away all your power when you do that and you deserve way more of that, way more than that as a miracle on this planet. So I'm sending everybody love. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you soon. Bye.